हेलो दिस इज डॉक्टर महेश कल्याण शेट्टी असोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वालचन इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट द लाइव लोड एनालिसिस ऑफ ब्रिज डेक स्लैब बाय इफेक्टिव विथ मेथड द लर्निंग आउटकम वुड बी एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू अप्लाई द इफेक्टिव विथ मेथड फॉर द लाइव लोड एनालिसिस ऑफ ब्रिज डेक्स लैब लेट एस डिस्कस वॉट इज दिस इफेक्टिव विथ मेथड सो दिस इज एन मेथड विच इज अप्लीकेबल वेर वन वे एक्शन प्रिवेल्स दैट मीन्स द स्लैब इज सपोर्टिंग ऑन टू अपोजिट साइड्स सो वेर एवर वी गेट दिस कंडीशन देन द एनालिसिस ऑफ द स्लैब इज टू बी कैरीड आउट एज पर द इफेक्टिव विथ मेथड दिस मेथड is based on the assumption that it is not only strip of the slab immediately below the load that participates in taking the load but also certain width of the slab which is below that particular slab so this width of the slab over which the action of the load prevails is known as effective width of dispersion so basically we consider the dispersion of the load through the thickness of the slab and whatever dispersed dimension we get those dimensions we consider for the analysis in this picture this particular method is been explained in detail so on the left hand side in this figure we see a uh, two abutments and over which this particular slab is resting and we have a footpath on either side and in between the two footpath there is an carriage way width this is also called as a road way and suppose there is an vehicle moving on the slab and the wheel imprint is shown here with the help of a hatched lines a tire of the vehicle will have certain contact area so that contact with the surface of the deck is shown with the hatched line which we call wheel imprint and now this particular area or this particular uh, shaded portion wherein we have the actual contact but this load will get transferred through the thickness of the slab and at the bottom of the slab we get certain dimension which is under influence of that force and that we call it as l effective and b effective so the concentrated load vertically transforms into a uniformly distributed load distributed along some length that we call it as dispersed length along the span so this is another picture where we can understand this particular method in more detail this is an plan wherein we can see a, a small portion wherein the contact area is shown the load contact area having the width say b in the cross section if i consider section aa i will get the bottom section the width of this vehicle is b uh, this patch is b and now this particular uh, load of width b will get dispersed through the depth of the slab here the wearing coat is thickness is shown by small h the depth of the slab is shown by small d and after the dispersion we get a specific uh, width that we call it as b effective and this b effective is determined as per irc 21 b effective is given as alpha into x in bracket 1 minus x by l plus b1 so let us try to understand what are the meaning of these terms alpha x and b1 these are the terms which we need to understand now in this equation alpha is nothing but a constant which depends on l by b ratio so l means the length of the slab and b is the width of the slab 
so based on that ratio we can find out that constant alpha then the x in this equation is nothing but its distance of the cg of the load from the nearest support for example here you see this load is placed exactly at the center therefore the distance from the nearest support will be same either i consider the top support or bottom support the distance is going to remain same that is x but in case of the eccentric load we have to find out the distance from the nearest support that we call it as an x and this b1 is the breadth of the concentrated area through the wearing coat see in this particular picture b1 is nothing but it is a dispersed dimension after allowing the dispersion through the wearing coat and for this b1 we consider the dispersion at an angle of 45 degree so knowing the thickness of the wearing coat we can find out b1 so this is how the b effect is calculated and similarly lengthwise dispersion also is calculated so lengthwise dispersion the if i took a take a section bb so it is visible here in the section bb the dispersion whatever is taking place that we call it as l effective and that is given by the formula w plus 2 times h plus d indirectly it means that the dispersion is at an angle of 45 degree simply so we don't have any equation as such for finding l effective simply you have to go for a 45 degree dispersion we get an l effective in this way it is observed that the b effective and l effective will give me an another area which is under the influence of the given loaded area and that effective area we need to consider for the calculation now these are the value of alpha as we discussed in the previous slide alpha is required and this alpha is based on the uh, ratio of l by b so for different values of l by b the alpha is given so here uh, it is 0 0.4 0 0.8 like this this particular ratios you can see and once we complete this particular dispersion then the loading diagram can be generated so as you can see here the supports are here and here therefore you see the two supports are shown here and in between the two support the load is present only for a length of l effective so therefore that udl portion is shown here and this udl intensity is nothing but it is the total load which is acting on the slab divided by the effective area that is b effective into l effective so load divided by effective area will give me the intensity of udl and that udl will assume to act on the beam and once we get the loading diagram then we have to find out the shear force that is the support reaction and we have to find out the bending moment so in this case the bending moment will be maximum at the center so for a given loading diagram we have to find what is the bending moment at the center which will be maximum so in this way the lie load shear force and lie load bending moment can be determined using effective width method these are the references used for this presentation thank you thank you very much